determine all paths of positive integers a, b, such that a squared over 2ab squared minus b cubed plus 1 is a positive integer. We assume that a squared over 2ab squared minus b cubed plus 1 equals k, where k is a positive integer. By rearranging the equation, we can now write a squared equals 2ab squared k minus b cubed k plus k. Now we move 2ab squared k to the left hand side of the equation. We have a squared and minus 2a times b squared k. Now if we add b squared k all squared to the left hand side of the equation, then we can complete the square on the left hand side of the equation. So we add b to the power of 4 k squared on both sides of the equation. The left hand side of the equation can now be written as a minus b squared k or squared. On the right hand side of the equation, we have e to the power of 4 k squared minus b cubed k plus k. The terms underlined in blue can be written as b squared k minus b over 2 or squared minus b squared over 4. To remove the fractions, we multiply the equation by 4. 4 is equal to 2 squared, so the left hand side of the equation can be written as 2a minus 2b squared k all squared. The right hand side of the equation can be written as 2b squared k minus b or squared minus b squared plus 4k. Now we learn um, equal 2a minus 2b squared k and equal 2b squared k minus b. Now we can write this equation as m squared minus n squared equals 4k minus b squared. Case 1, if 4k equals b squared, which means m squared equals n squared. So um equals plus minus n. If um equals n, then 2a minus 2b squared k equals 2b squared k minus b. By rearranging the equation, we can now write 4b squared k equals 2a plus b as 4k equals b squared. So 4b squared k equals b to the power of 4. So we can now write b to the power of 4 minus b equals 2a because k equals b squared over 4, which is a positive integer. So b must be even. Now we learn b equal to t, where t is a positive integer. Then from equation 2, we can now write a equals 2t to the power of 4 minus 2t 
over 2, which is equal to 8t to the power of 4 minus t. Thus, a, b equals 8t to the power of 4 minus t to t, where t is a positive integer is a general solution if m equals minus m b equals to a thus a b equals t to t where t is a positive integer is another general solution case two if 4k is less than b squared, then from equation 1, we know that m squared is less than m squared, which means m squared is less than or equal to m minus 1 or squared, because n is greater than 0. From equation 1, we know that 4k minus b squared equals m squared minus n squared, which is less than or equal to m minus 1 or squared minus n squared, which is equal to minus 2n plus 1. We know that n equals 2b squared k minus b by substituting this in minus 2n plus 1, we can now write equals minus 4 b squared k plus 2b plus 1. So 4k minus b squared is less than or equal to minus 4b squared k plus 2b plus 1. We move minus 4b squared k to the left hand side of the inequality and we move minus b squared to the right hand side of the inequality. By factorizing the left hand side of the inequality, we can now write 4k times b squared plus 1 is less than or equal to b squared plus 2b plus 1. Clearly, b is less than b squared plus 1. So we can now write is less than b squared plus 2 times b squared plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3 times b squared plus 1, which implies 4k is less than Three, which must be false, as k is a positive integer. Thus, there are no solutions if or k is less than b squared. Case three, if or k is greater than b squared, then from equation one we know that m squared is greater than m squared, which means m squared is greater than or equal to m plus 1 or squared. From equation 1, we can now write 4k minus b squared equals m squared minus m squared, which is greater than or equal to m plus 1 or squared minus n squared, which is equal to 2n plus 1. We know that n equals 2b squared k minus b. Now we substitute this in 2n plus 1, and we can now write equals 4b squared k minus 2b plus 1. So 4k minus 
be squared is greater than or equal to will be squared k minus 2b plus 1. Now we move will be squared k to the left hand side of the inequality and minus b squared to the right hand side of the inequality. By factorizing or completing the square, we can now write for k times 1 minus b squared is greater than or equal to b minus 1 or squared, which means b must equal 1. We assumed that k equals a squared over 2ab squared minus b cubed plus 1. Now we substitute b equals 1 in this algebraic expression and we can now write equals a squared over 2a which is equal to a over 2 because k is a positive integer so a must be even. Now we learn a equal to t where t is a positive integer. Thus a b equals to t 1 where t is a positive integer is another general solution. Thank you.